When I don't feel pretty or good about myself, here's my go-to uniform routine. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful day. It's time to dust ourselves off and feel good about ourselves again. We all have days where we feel unattractive, and by bumming it in sweats and not putting ourselves together again, not treating ourselves like we care, that could only worsen our feelings and create an even bigger excuse to put ourselves down for how we look. And I don't necessarily feel pretty these days. I'm that sweat girl today and I was for a few days now. Your skin may be responding badly right now, your hair may not be cooperating, and maybe you've gained a few pounds and you're struggling with getting it off. But there's always something that you can do to pick yourself up and not dwell on the things that you dislike. And instead, we can choose to be grateful for the things that we do have going on for ourselves. I would like to be 20 pounds lighter, and I've already started taking steps every day to eventually get to my goal in the near future. But I've learned that it's also not okay for me to go in hiding because I'm ashamed of how I look. And it's not okay for me to act like I'm less than because I'm not at the weight I would like to be. So this is my message to you to get ready, get yourself up, get polished. I'm going to start by taking a shower and putting on my go-to uniform look. I am clean now and I moisturized and that already makes me feel a lot better. There's something about getting cleaned up and putting on my body butter. And if you want to see how I make my body butter, it's linked right over here and down below in the description box. And now to get dressed with my what I call go-to uniform. A uniform look is basically a go-to dress code that I'm comfortable with wearing often. So I've been loving crossover jeans. The band on the waistline crosses over like this. And I have like five of these. To give you an example, these are from Abercrombie and Fitch. By the way, if you know me, you've been on my channel for a long time. You know, I used to work at the flagship store in Fifth Avenue, New York. They just made a documentary on Netflix giving out a lot of tea. But anyway, this is from their Curve Love collection. These I wear a lot. They're called the Dad High Rise. It has the four buckles and it's crossover, which are wide leg on the bottom and crossover in the front. If you want something more affordable, go with the Fashion Nova crossover jeans. They have a ton of them. I have about three from Fashion Nova. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands, by the way. And the top I'm wearing is a bodysuit. And I love this bodysuit by White Fox because it has like a hemmed core right here on the under the bust area so it's not just a plain bodysuit and I don't usually share this but undergarments are also very important and I'll share some of my favorites for the outfit that I'm wearing today underwear for underwear today I'm choosing these high-waisted seamless underwear <laughs> I don't know what to call it and these are from H&M and I have about six of these that I got in 2019 and they're still in great condition don't know if they still have them but I will try to link them below but I like this type of underwear especially under jeans and sometimes dresses it's seamless it doesn't leave any lines and the material is like latex kind of like wearing underwear Spanx but it doesn't feel like Spanx and it's not too restricting it just kind of smooths out the belly area and the bottom part has this lace that you don't see under your clothing my bra today is a bra my mother got me this is like a t-shirt bra from Maiden Form and it has a thin padding no wire but it has like this stiff feel that helps me stay lifted and I also love the bras from Lively let's get dressed before I move on and fix this hair, I want to thank Scentbird for sponsoring this portion of the video today. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can select designer fragrances to try every month for only $16. And for those who know me, I'm all about clean fragrances like with everything else in my life. And I love that Scentbird has a great selection of clean fragrances. And I do like to change my scent in the summer. So I have been having so much fun discovering what my summer scent will be with these four. And all four of these smell so good that it's been really hard to decide which one I like best. And I love that it has different colors on the packaging so that I don't confuse which fragrance I'm using. And I will know what pink and blue and purple and yellow will be. It just slides right up like this as you twist it and it's ready to be used just like this. This first one is by Heretic. This is Dirty Coconut and I love the Heretic brand which is why I chose this. It says here that Dirty Coconut is a 100% plant-based fragrance that's both lusty and renewing. And the notes that you will smell in this Dirty Coconut fragrance is Amberette, Cedar, Coconut, Sandalwood, and Vanilla which sounds lovely. And that smells amazing. This is like a daily wear type of scent. I can definitely see myself being stuck to that one. Then in this blue packaging, we have one of my favorite companies, which is Skylar. This is their Coconut Cove, and I already have this scent in a full size, so I know it smells amazing. This one, this one's also a coconutty scent, 
but it smells more fruity and sweet to me than the Dirty Coconut from Heretic. And the notes on Coconut Cove is Ambrox, Bergamot, and Coconut. And out of those two coconut scents, I do think the Skylar Coconut Cove smells a little stronger. In the pink packaging, I have Destination Unknown by the brand called Memoir Archives, and I'm very new to this brand. I have been trying it for the first time because of Scentbird. And the notes on this one is Agave Nectar, California Poppy, and Desert Marigold. Ooh, this one's, oh my goodness, this one's so nice. Oh, this one's like about to win right now. This one's different from the other ones. This one's less warm. I typically don't like florals, but this one has like a sweet floral. The second I smell this one, it's like, I feel sexy. Like I want to put a dress on. I want to put some lingerie on or something. I don't know. It's, it's really sexy. And the one in my lavender packaging is called Seven Summers by Dime Beauty. And I saved this one for last because it's clearly a summer scent. And the notes on this one is champagne, coconut cream, juicy pear, vanilla lavender, and warm sugar. And just those notes alone, like that just sold me. Expect an uplifting, stimulating smell that will dial up the mood and heighten the senses of attraction. Oh, I die. I, that's it. This will be my scent today because yeah, this is good. Vanilla lavender, warm sugar, juicy pear, coconut cream, champagne, that's all in here. Apparently I love coconut. Three of the scents that I chose have coconut in them, which was not done on purpose. I like to spray my fragrance on my wrist and I just tap it. The back of my neck, Millie Almodovar always says, avoid spraying fragrance on your neck because it can age you and it just makes so much sense. So I don't do that. What I like to do is add a little extra on my wrist, tap it there and then put it behind my ear. I always like to spray it where the bra strap is so it goes on my skin and my clothing, right on the inside. Now get excited and make sure you click that link down below and use my code because you will get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Yes, I said 55% off. That's only $8. And I also have exciting news. Scentbird is now available in Canada. So check it out. Question, do you do your hair or your makeup first? Today I feel like doing my hair first because it's just gonna be something low and simple and back. And I'll be wearing a headband. This is my favorite headband. This headband is from Zara from many, many years ago. And it's linen, which I love. Every time I wear it, I get tons of questions on it. And this is the easiest thing ever. I'm just spraying my hair with water and I'm gonna apply some gel and just sneak it back. And I don't like tying my hair tight because I am prone to getting headaches the second my hair feels any type of tightness. So I use these spiral ties and I only tie it twice. For the bun, I kind of loosely like twist it around because I don't want it to necessarily be neat, but still put together. And I take my clear spiral tie and just wrap it around. And there's that. And it's all gonna come together once I tame the baby hairs. And I'm using the same gel with an old toothbrush that I do not use in my mouth. I only use it for my hair. And I put a little gel on it and just kind of brush my baby hairs a little. That is smooth enough. And I just love the way I smell right now. It already uplifts me and makes me feel pretty. Other than the necklace my husband got me that I wear all the time and I have been for 15 years. It's a solid gold necklace. It's custom made for me. So this is a personal necklace of mine. I can't link it or tell you where to get it from. This necklace that I also always wear is a 14 karat gold necklace that I got on Etsy and it has like these charm pendants on it. It's just very subtle and cute and I love it. All right, I washed my hands because I will be touching my face as I do my makeup. But first for my earrings, I like to wear a lot of gold. I always wear gold. And I either go for simple hoops like these that I got like at H&M or something, or I wear my 14 karat monster plant dainty earring that looks really cute and I love wearing these. But today I am feeling the hoops. And for my makeup, I already showed everything that I like to do for a minimal, clean girl, no makeup kind of. And I don't want this to be repetitive, so I'm not going to emphasize on the makeup too much because this is just a no makeup makeup look. If you wanna see how I do my makeup, that will be linked down below as well. So I'm just gonna breeze by this and get going.
Some people like to wear a lot of makeup when they don't feel good about themselves. And that's okay, I completely get that. Sometimes I'm like that too, but me, I'm already more on the minimal makeup side. So I don't like to look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup on regular days where I'm not like really doing anything extravagant. And I don't like the feeling of having to rely on makeup in order to feel good about myself because it only worsens how I view myself naturally. The goal for me is to still like myself and still look at myself with kind eyes when I don't have any of this going on. So when I use makeup, it's more to enhance what I naturally have going on for myself instead of hiding the things that I don't like about myself. I don't wanna hide, I just want to work with what I have. And there's always a way to take what you have and make it look a little better, a little more polished. And the cleaner and more decent and feminine you look, I feel like that's all you need. Like you don't have to go that hard, you know? And oftentimes, a clean looking banana looks and tastes better than a bedazzled banana that gives you the appearance that it looks amazing, but it might not actually be amazing, you know? Something I love doing is applying a little bit of the contour very lightly on the top of my lip line, which just helps create like a shadow. And the shadow kind of makes it appear like my lips are poutier, you know? And I apply a little bit down here as well. This is just a cream blush, which I love for a more naturally flushed look. If you're truly interested in the makeup part, you will go watch a video that I have that does emphasize on makeup. And I love wearing makeup like this because it's so minimal. It doesn't look like I'm covering anything and there's no foundation involved. Super simple, but I feel pretty, I feel put together, and I smell good. By the way, my bag is from Urban Outfitters and it matches my Birkenstocks. And these are just things that I wear all the time. When I like something, I keep it for years. I'm not one of those people that gets tired of items very quickly. As long as they're staples and neutrals, I can wear them so much. If you're into these types of videos and you wanna see more of it, make sure you engage down below. Subscribe to my channel and comment because that lets me know what you guys truly are interested in, what you wanna see. I hope it helped you in any way. And now I'm gonna try to have an amazing day. And I hope that you do too. All right, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye sunshines.